Number of customers of a local fence contractor say he took their deposits, hasn't done the work. News 5 investigator Jonathan Walsh followed the fencing trail for us. Now, Jonathan, we are talking thousands of dollars here. Yeah, as you know, fences are not cheap. Not cheap that at all. is for sure. And even just putting half down on these backyard fence projects means big time bucks. So we went looking for the guy in question to get some answers. We're gonna rip all this out, get rid of the gate, because we don't need that. All Kimberly Papa and her husband wanted was a new fence after moving into their Cleveland Heights home about a year ago. She is, she loves people. <laughs> As new parents of a little girl. And when she grows up, it'd be just nice to hang out in the backyard, have the privacy, let her roam. Last summer, her neighbor was getting a new fence and introduced Kimberly to Ben Hammond and his reliable fence and rail company. It was a neighborhood favorite on next door all these people had given him reviews so i thought oh no problem i found ben's name on next door rosie ford also from cleveland heights hired hammond as well after her dog was jumping into the neighbor's yard she tells us hammond said he would start in august but oh now it's going to be in march and i said you know that's not really going to work for me can you just give me my deposit back he's like no problem um i'll drop off a check rosie says that never happened as time went on, you know, it got more and more suspicious. Vince Kovacic from University Heights wanted a fence that would help him with his dog, Foxy, but he says he too got delays and excuses from Hammond. It kind of consumed my thoughts, to be honest with you. I thought about it all the time. He uh, assured me that I would get that fence. Vince says that didn't happen either. The Better Business Bureau serving Greater Cleveland started getting a pattern of complaints, so it put an alert on Hammond and the business. Gave a lot of excuses, blamed it on the weather or a back order of supplies. Vince posted on Nextdoor about his problems with Hammond and says more people stepped forward with their complaints. At one point, Kimberly got a bit clever about contacting Hammond. I reached out as a new customer and he got back to me. And then when he realized, oh, I'm, you know, my husband's wife, he disappeared. We went to Hammond's home in Whitcliffe. A male voice came through the video doorbell saying Hammond wasn't home. My name's Jonathan Walsh. I work with Channel 5 News. We've had numerous complaints about his company taking uh, deposits and not returning them. Do you know anything about that? I have no idea. Do you know when Ben will be back? Uh, he's in Washington right now, um, maybe I think next Tuesday. How much did you pay him? That $4,300. $41. Customers filed complaints with police, and after I requested those reports and an interview with Cleveland Heights Police, I saw the follow-up request that you had requested information, so that, that kind of sparked my interest. This is an opportunity we can do something good here for our residents. The chief put his guys into action, and it turns out Hammond really wasn't in Washington until next Tuesday, after all. Don't for me. <laughs> Okay. All right. The chief says within 45 minutes, they found him in his car and got help from the Whitcliffe Police Department, who ended up arresting Hammond right on the spot. Yeah, it's a uh, felony uh, several theft case. grand theft cases, I think. Uh, I know what it's for, yeah. I mean, We want other consumers to know that, like, hey, reliable fence and rail is not reliable. Let's just start with that. He needs to be held accountable. Just taken advantage of, just angry and upset. You know, I'm a new mom, you know, we have this baby, $4,300 goes a long way. Sure does. Hammond is charged now with felony theft in Cleveland Heights and could be facing more charges there, plus in University Heights. Now, if you had a similar issue with Hammond, call your local police, file a police report. Also, we want to mention that we contacted next door about that recommendation award it gave to Hammond and his business. So after we contacted them, they said thank you and summarily took that profile down. We always tell people when you, when you work with contractors, pay with a credit card, use your credit card. Why do we tell them that? Because you have protections there, Rob. The credit card company will then investigate those problems. Mm -hmm. If you use a cash or a check or, or a debit card, you're pretty much on your own then. So definitely use a card if you can. On your own with Jonathan with Walsh. With Jonathan Walsh, yes, give side. me a holler. There you go. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you. Again. <laughs>